Hello. I haven't posted a video in about three months now. And it's not because I don't want to. It's probably because I started streaming on Mixer and stuff. Which is really great. I'm really enjoying Mixer. But I took the time to make this video. There won't be any like fancy editing or any music or things like that. Hang on, let me turn off my phone. It's just going to be a raw, uncut few minutes explaining to people what goes on with my life. So when I was about 14, I finished school. And I went through this really stupid phase where you go out and try everything and get really drunk all the time. I'm also really ill, I'm sorry, I apologise. But I did that for a while. Uh, I, I aced all my exams, so I felt like I was invincible and untouchable. I wasn't. I was stupid, I was dumb, I was young. But the only sort of... And then I started um, getting really down. Like, really down. I started a new college after I finished uh, secondary slash high school. I started college. I did, um, I did five courses there because of how good I did in my exams. So I did business, advanced science, computing, and performing arts. And... Uh, and sport, that was it, sport. Those five, of which I never failed any, but I didn't like that college. I really hated it. So what I did, the only good thing about it there was I met Ellie. That was good. But other than that, there wasn't anything I enjoyed about Rygate. There was... This was due to the fact that I have had and still have to this day a depression slash anxiety disorder. Now, it's nothing that's going to make me take drastic measure or anything. But I have lost a few friends over it who I really cared for and I think about a lot. And I'm worried about those guys all the time. But that's... That's how it went down. I fell out of touch. I really suffered. I lost some people. And it sucked. But then I decided to leave that college... That was around the same sort of time I started watching uh, more. I was already subscribed to like Ready Up Live and stuff like that because I know a lot of my community is from there. But I watched all of like Jeff stuff. I started watching streams and it started inspiring me a bit more to do more things. But my, I obviously was still with Ellie and stuff. And then my parents had the bright idea to get a divorce, which sucked, which was soft and it hurt. And it, it really dragged me down to a place that was way further. So my anxiety increased. Increased. I took loads of time away from college. I started suffering more. The only couple of things I had in my life were Ellie and I played rugby at a high level, at a high standard. And I took an injury that put me right out. So that left me in about six months of real denial of what I wanted to do with my life. I'm still with Ellie, we're, we're happy, we were always happy, but it took me a really long time to realise that I wanted to be part of something far bigger and do way more things, uh, but my anxiety kept holding me back, and mental health stuff isn't pretty, it's really not, it's a shit show. The only sort of escape I have, and this really hits me hard, and the point of everything I do, is I dive really deep into comic books and TV and movies and games and stuff. Being a nerd for me is an escape from the things that are shit in life, you know? Every time something goes bad, I always had that Doctor Who or Halo or stuff like that. But in more recent years, I've had, like, streaming making videos, being productive, being with the the community that I've integrated with, so Potts, Alvin, Xander not Xander, who is really important in my life. And obviously the big ones, so Green Skull, Minolta, War Dog and stuff. When I met up with those guys, truth of the matter, and this is something I haven't ever said, is I was shit scared because of my anxiety. 
I also have this thing called emetophobia, which is the um, fear of being sick. So anything I do, I will feel like I'm going to be sick. And that holds me back in so many aspects of my life. I really don't want it to. Like, if it was up to me, I'd, I wouldn't have any of these problems. But the point I'm trying to get across is I don't do this to make it something. Like, I'm happy with the jobs I have and the things I do in my life. I like to think that I would excel in most of the things that I do because I put 110% of effort in. But my anxiety is something that hangs over my shoulder the whole time. And that's why, to me, going to PAX this year is so important. Because I've never left the country on my own. I've been too anxious to do anything. Well, I have left the country on my own. Okay, I'll rephrase. I haven't left the country alone with these problems. It's It's been a really difficult time. It's one of the reasons I smoke and stuff. Because when I was playing rugby and when I was with this really close group of friends so I loved to pieces, I was never really happy. It was great, but I wasn't happy. And when I met Ellie, I was, I was happier and happier and happier. But then I started having panic attacks and stuff went real shit show. So if you're wondering why I haven't done streaming as often as I should made videos or anything like that it is because I have these problems I really do and I'm trying really damn hard to get past these problems it's quite difficult because it's in my head and I know it's psychosomatic I really do but it's difficult I just wanted people to understand that this is what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I love working where I work in every aspect of what I do. Apart from the pay at one of my jobs. Could be improved. I'm sorry this isn't ideal. Like, I really want to put more time and effort into editing videos and doing bigger things. I nearly failed college twice and I have a really high IQ and I nearly failed twice. I wasn't allowed to go on media courses, I wasn't allowed to go to scholarships I was offered, I wasn't allowed to do all of these things and it really held me back but I nearly failed what I was allowed to do and I do regret not putting more time into it but I passed. Because I did, with the time I had, I, I never half asked one thing, I whole asked, like, I never half asked, half, half asked two things, I whole asked one thing. And that really helped me back in what I was doing. But I really enjoy this. This is something that I feel like will help me in the long run. Because I watch people. Recently, I've watched Casey Neistat stuff. I've watched a lot of Minolta stuff. I've watched Murdoch stuff. And the internet, and from what I've learned from all of you guys, and the communities I work with, and the things I do for people, have really opened my eyes to what I want in my life. And I will beat this problem. I know I will. It's, it's an actual disorder. But I'm really excited to do what I'm doing. And I'm really excited to go to PAX. To see Jeff and Dan and Potts. I'd love, I can't wait to hang out with him. And Xander had came to me the other day with a really good point. I've been doing a lot of this on my own. And there are people who want to be more involved. So i got to involve more people. But yeah, the bottom line is, is it, it sucks. And I really wanted to open up here because I feel like this is a really good medium to talk to people to get a point across, you know? And I wanted to say thank you to a few people. So if you want to turn off the video now, I'm fine. But there's going to be a list. And we're going to start with some 
the very important ones. My brother, who is a cock, but I love him to pieces, and I would do anything for him. Ellie, who I love to pieces. My parents, who had the messiest divorce on the planet. It really was. My grandparents, who are having issues at the moment, because one of them is in hospital, so I've had to deal with that. But then there's a, the other side of the spectrum. So we've got Green Skull, who I want to thank for giving me opportunities and showing me his side of the world and the industries and stuff, which is great. Jeff, or Minolta, for the inspiration that he gave me to do this stuff. Xander, for all the time and patience he's had with me <laughs> and putting up with my shit. Alvin Potts, for being involved for actually being part of my life and this is what this is, it's a part of my life uh, and I wanted to say sorry to the friends that I lost through this problem and the things that it's held me back from in life because I've had so many great opportunities to do great things that just folded, didn't work out for me, didn't go well so I stopped but that's not going to happen anymore, it's not going to that's going to change, I'm going to, and I think that PAX is really important for me to do this. And that's all I'm going to do in this video. It's not going to be any editing, it's just raw footage of me getting a point across to you guys. I stream on Mixer now, if, you, if, the, if you're still watching me on YouTube that's great, but I will put my Mixer in the description of this video down there. That's where I stream, that's where the shit goes down. I want to do more coverage with a friend that I've recently came back in contact with called Mike. We're going to do more content about when I feel better, once I recover from stuff. Uh, we're going to make content on news for stuff and I want to expand because I, I want something to do. It's not to get famous or be big, it's for something to have a creative outlet. And I appreciate absolutely anyone who watches any of my stuff. But that is basically it. <clears throat> but thank you for being patient with me and I hope this has opened up people's eyes about my problems I feel like this was a real big deal to me to actually get this out there into the world and if any of those friends that I lost end up watching this video I am sorry and I do think about you guys and I hope you guys are all good but I I'm in a really good place and I need to see that so thank you everybody for watching I stream on Mixer I'll put my Mixer down there I'll put my Twitter down there feel free to tweet me or anything like that I don't know how much more is coming up on the channel recently there will be more stuff eventually but that's eventually that's down the road but for now this is me talking uh, thank you I'm sorry my nose is blocked and stuff so yeah, peace.